Hi, I'm Lisa Nichols, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take the melting point of a solid using a melt temp apparatus. The first thing you want to do is prepare your sample. I'm going to test the melting point of acetanilid. So I first take a capillary tube, which is closed on one end, on the bottom, and open on the other end, and I'm going to turn it upside down and jab the open end into the solid. If you jab it a few times, you're gonna get some solid to just naturally go into the tube. Then if you turn it over and tap the closed end on the countertop, you'll get the solid to fall down into the closed end. And you want it to fill about two to three millimeters high. If there's too little, then you just jab it in the solid and get more. If there's too much, you probably just wanna get a new tube and start over. And you want that solid to be packed in the bottom of the tube. And so one thing next you can do is drop it inside of a PVC pipe or some sort of hollow tube. And if you drop it through the tube with the closed end down, when it hits the counter and bounces a few times, that force is gonna cause the solid to jostle and uh, bounce and, and uh, pack more tightly into the, the bottom of the tube. So drop it maybe twice uh, into a tube and then it should be ready to go. The sample is now ready to go inside of the melt temp. I like to first turn it on so that it turns on the light and you can see what's going on inside there. And then inside you'll see that there's a metal block and there's three little slots and it's very hard to show you this, um, but there are three slots and you wanna just position your capillary tube with the closed end down inside of one of those slots. And I'll try my best to zoom in and show you what you can see through the eyepiece. In the middle, you'll eventually, when it focuses, you can see the solid inside the tube in the middle slot. I would have next turned the dial to start heating the sample, and eventually then the temperature is gonna rise on the thermometer. The thermometer is touching a metal block that is surrounding the sample, and so it's measuring the temperature of your solid. You want to increase the temperature at a somewhat slow rate, but bring it up to roughly 20 degrees or so below the expected melting point, and then you wanna turn it down for sure and go at a much more slow rate um, because we wanna catch the, the temperature where this, this substance melts. Uh, we're gonna be recording two numbers, and so our melting point is gonna be more like a melting range. The first number that we record is when we see our first drop of liquid. Then we look up at the thermometer and write that down. The second number is going to be when the entire sample liquefies. This does take quite a while, so if you are heating it at a slow rate, it's going to take several minutes before you get there. But let me zoom up the process to get to the important part. So I'm skipping some time right now, and very soon we're going to see our first drop of liquid. I'll tell you when. You're gonna notice the edges start to glisten and that if there's any sort of movement like right there I would say that sort of movement that little hint of movement is the first drop of liquid so I would have looked up and recorded that um, as my first temperature so notice that the solid is still white and opaque and that means it hasn't fully melted so for our second number what we're waiting for is for all of that white solid to turn clear and transparent, and that means that it has fully melted. So I'll let you know when I think that has happened. It's slightly white and opaque still. I would say maybe about there. So that would probably be my last uh, temperature. And so I have two numbers recorded for my melting range. 